Hello everyone and welcome to Game Asset World Tutorial Series and uh, today I will show you how to make a, a camera follow um, and after that we will uh, clamp it so it will um, it can't go uh, oversized or out of the screen yeah let's get to it what I have in uh, my scene right now is simply um, a ground with a box glider and a player with um, with a movement script on and of course if you need the, need this player i can uh, leave a link in the description i have a tutorial for that uh, and as you see here the camera is not following so let's make a new script and call this camera follow player And add this to the main camera in your scene and open it up. And when it's open, then we need to make a public transform called target. We need a public vector free called camera offset. We need a public float called speed. And we need a vector free velocity is equal to vector three dot zero. And to keep it nice and clean, we can have a, a header here, and this will be called references. Yeah. And then we need a public float. No, sorry, a public float called x minimum, a public float called x maximum public float y minimum and you guessed it a public float y maximum and again to have it more clean let's copy the header up here and call this camera minimum maximum positions Then we can remove all this and make a fixed update in there. To, uh, to make the camera clamp, we need to make a float x clamp is equal to mathf.clamp. And there we need the target position dot x. And it will be the x minimum and the x maximum. This line we can copy and paste and this was all, will of course be for the Y clamp and here we need to change the position to Y and Y minimum and Y maximum. Then we need to calculate the vector free target position is equal to our target dot position plus the camera offset then we need the vector free called clamped pos position this is a new vector three and this is math f as well dot clamp target position dot x and this is between the x minimum and the x maximum the same we have to do here for the y. So we need the math f again dot clamp. We need target push dot y and then the y minimum and the y maximum. And then after this one we need to say my negative one. And this is the this is the 
the the set axis. Uh, so if you have any troubles and you maybe can't see all your uh, sprites on um, on your screen, this can be the case because of your the your layer order in your game. Um, then we need to make a vector three. So it's move pose, uh, and this is so we can make the the camera camera uh, smooth towards the destination. So we need transform the position. We need the clamped position. We need the reference to velocity, and then we need the speed. Oh, sorry, the speed, and this need to be multiplied with time dot delta time. And then last, we need to say transform that position is equal to our smooth position. So save the script, go back to Unity, click on the camera over here to the right. You can see why I made the headers, so it's easier to yeah to have all you. And here we need to target the player. We need our speed, let's set it to 2. And here we need, so if you click your camera, you can move it around here. And if you go down to your left corner, you will up here have your X minimum. You will have your Y minimum. And if you then move it up to the right corner, you'll have your X maximum. And you will have your Y maximum. So now when you hit play, it should follow the player and it will be clamped to the window. So if you here take oh sorry take the player and move him around you can see the the camera will not go outside the border. Yeah that was everything. Thanks a lot for watching. Please uh, like and subscribe and if you've got any questions, please uh, let me know in the comment below.